so I did it. I bit the bullet and I bought the fourth wing. Hi, hello everyone. My name is Rachel. Welcome slash welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something that everyone and their mom has done. I'm going to do a fourth wing vlog. <laughs> You have seen my ups and downs when it comes to this book, and I haven't even read it. At first, I was like really excited, right? Because The Fourth Wing is super hyped. Oh, everyone is going off about this book. They love this book. I want to see if I love this book because I would love to be a part of the fandom. When I'm not a part of them, like it's like, uh, you know? Waving through a window, dear Evan Hansen. So it's not like I'm gonna lie and say I like the book just because everyone else likes it, but also I'm not gonna dislike it just because everyone likes it. That seems to also be a trend. That ain't my vibe. Anyways, <laughs> went off on a separate tangent. So back to what I was saying, I started off really excited to read it, wanted to find it because I wanted a physical copy of it. Ended up buying a different book by the author and read it and did not like it. And a lot of it had to do with the writing style. And so I was like, uh-oh, <laughs> I just, I have a feeling that I'm not going to like it as much as everyone else does. The need to get the book, a physical book, is no longer there. However, I still want to read it, obviously. Like, I still want to see what all the hype is about. I want to see how I feel about it, especially since the book that I read is a contemporary romance, How She Does with a Fantasy. There are a lot of spoiler-free reviews. I'm gonna make this one a vlog slash a review that I do on this channel, which my reviews are a review slash what notes would I give the author if I was their editor. So basically all of the structural changes I would make. So I just forewarning with that too, if you really like the fourth wing, maybe this video won't be for you. I don't know. But I just feel like everyone is reading this book. I want to read it obviously and I need to see what all the hype is about but also I just have a bad feeling because of previous work that I have read of hers so with that let's stop talking about it I feel like I already have a lot of feelings about this book and I haven't even read it yet that's gee like let's stop let's let's read it let's get to it um I will probably update you along the way if it's gonna be hardcore spoilers and what time stamp to skip to. That's not a spoiler section. Um, I'll put that here now. So with that, let's go ahead. <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what fourth wing is all about. Let's go. Okay. like I haven't moved but I have I am about 23% into fourth wing and I'm okay with it so far it's not like blowing my mind by any means it's reminding me of divergent like it's giving divergent vibes violet is Triss to me like that's I don't know if anyone else has made that connection yet I'm sure people have I don't mind that the problem though is a little bit just the characters are all over the place the only character who is like really staying true to who he is is the bad guy Jack or Jake Violet is a little bit all over the place I can't peg her who she is 
Also the world building, I give credit where credit is due. It's unique in how she's trying to world build. I will say it's not as well finette. Like I like the idea of Violet being like the smart girl who just like randomly just spouts out all these like facts. But the way it's being done just doesn't, I don't personally I'm it's just kind of weird so far the book is fine I have heard that like it gets better I think people say it's like the halfway point the last half like it really takes off so I mean it's not bad some of the concerns that I did have are still very much there like there's just some very like clunky things that are happening and I can see how some people would really like this just because it is very cheesy it's not my type of cheesy though. It's supposed to be very intense, high stakes, right? So adding in those like cheesy things is just a little bit like, oh wait, what are we? It's not like a small town romance where like everything is cheesy. You know what I mean? Again, some of the some of the language that she uses in it. Sometimes Violet speaks like a 19 year old and then other times she she speaks like a full-on adult. Like you just get the essence of an older woman speaking for her and that was the issue with the other book and so I do get the sense that maybe she's doing better though. I do appreciate the creativity though. It's just the execution part that is... we'll see. So... <laughs> That's the first update. I'm gonna keep reading, see how far I get. I hope that things just keep being okay. And so, but yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of where I'm at. It's, well, uh, you know, it's fine, not bad. So, but I'm gonna continue on. We'll see. basically since I woke up. Okay, so it's starting to get a little distracting. It's right after Violet got attacked by all of the cadets and what's-her-face the ringleader was there and like helped them get in. And Zayden had come and rescued her. That, it's like right after that. While well, they just called the wing leader up, Dane is so like he's like there's no way there's absolutely no way that she would have done this no like violet stop this and like one of his reasons is that she would never do this is he says is, she likes the rules too much and i'm just like it's almost like the last straw because let's be real before this we had a part where it was right after Zayden had saved her. They were talking to the dragons and like one of the dragons said something like you wouldn't give your power to a toddler were you? Would you? And Zayden was like gods no I could hardly handle it as a first year and that like adding on that little bit doesn't make sense for his character. She keeps on like adding on these bits, random tidbits of like getting to know the character while also everyone just speaks exactly what's on their mind. It's doing that thing again where people speak way too well. Like the communication is too good. Because of that, like all of their characterization goes away. I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated with that and it's it takes me out of the story. Everyone's gonna become a jumbled up mess and no one's gonna be unique. Anyways, that's my little rant so far. I think I'm I'm not quite halfway yet because I think she does okay as far as like plot and adding in some little details that make it a bit more unique but her characters are not good in how they're written. I think that they would be good if she had kept to what she was trying to do and you can tell what she's trying to do with it. Anyways, gonna keep reading. Try not to keep, mm, 
informing you of things. Anyways, okay. On we go. I'm probably like 60% of the way through, and I'm just thinking out loud, like her falling off of her saddle or off of her seat all the time is like a big thing. Couldn't they just add like extra straps? Cause isn't that what her dragon does? Like mental straps on her legs to like keep her there. So like, couldn't they just add f physical straps? Could it, I feel like this isn't, I feel like they could just design something different. I don't feel like this has to be that big of a deal. Anyways, just something that I thought of. I'm going to carry on. <laughs> I feel like I've been spoiled. I feel like someone like betrays her. And so I'm assuming that one of her friends betrays her. I think it's interesting to include these little quotes at the beginning of each chapter. However, I feel like it may, it may spoil it. It's maybe a little bit too obvious of foreshadowing, so, but we'll just see. When her and Xander aren't even like technically friends yet and she, and he is like bringing her a cup of some hot drink and he was like still hate me it's like you guys aren't to that level yet it's it's skipping around things and i'm just like what is this relationship i don't yeah anyway i just mm, it bothers me such a crazy like it's not even against the rules hilarious see I, just a weird shift now he's being all flirty like what I just read chapter 30 and it was good. I liked it. So you're welcome girlies. I love how she comes to the realization that, hey, you know what? If we keep having sex, I'm going to fall for you. And then she tells him that right as soon as she thinks it and like she t she tells like see these are the things where it's like yes you could do that but it's definitely not as interesting if she would have I don't know maybe kept it to herself played it off as like she's cool with it not a big deal 
but instead she just flat out is like so vulnerable with him like it just it makes those moments not seem like vulnerable moments it just feels like the easy way out does that make sense because he you know did the whole like you have to promise not to fall in love with me and then you know she's like yeah um, but also, just so you know, like, I won't be able to separate these things, so we can't be together type thing. And so I just, mm. oh, and then he just says, oh, you won't, you won't fall in love with me. So I, mm. okay, I mean, I guess. I think it's getting better. I'm, I'm finding myself getting swept up more in the story, and which is a good thing. So that makes me happy. The longer that it's going, I feel like the more swept up in the story I'm getting, so I'm not noticing as much all the other stuff. The other stuff is still very much there, but the plot is now really taking me to places so I'm curious I'm hoping that like the pace keeps up and like we just keep moving forward and that it's interesting plot so we'll see we'll see See what happens. interested in you in forever for like over half the year I think I know what's gonna happen it's either gonna be a Zayden's gonna be like actually I am taking over things or Zayden's gonna do something like one of the two boys are gonna do something so and my guess is that it's going to be Zayden, and I think that's how it's going to play out. So we'll see. We'll see. So, she, she just believes him? Like, he just told her all of this stuff that, like, is turning her world upside down, and she just believes him after one conversation? She was, she was chill. She was like, just tell me everything that you know. Okay, I believe what you're saying, but I don't trust you. Make that make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't. See, when things are like that simple, it just makes it harder to believe. And also, it's just not as interesting. We'll see where it goes. So I've been right. It's taken me a, 
a bit, but I do guess it before it happens. So Dane betrayed, betrayed her. Zayden, you know, was working with other people and she felt betrayed. And now I'm guessing that, yeah, her brother is alive. Because I'm assuming he's the only one who can save her or he's like a bad guy. So that's my guess now because things are just happening. Also, Liam died. Sad. I didn't like that. So like, it's good. Like again, like it's definitely like it's picked up, it's better things like that my struggles still are with the pacing but I still have issues with pacing for like the rest of the book but like getting to these parts I mean depending on how it ends I would I would I mean I would probably still recommend so like so far so good it's better than I thought it was going to be and that's the key so look at me that's what a fun thing! Okay, I'm gonna continue. We'll see what happens. She better not mess this up. A Satan chapter? Wow. Exciting. Okay. Random, but sure. So, Andarna is big now. Also, I'm assuming that one of her dragons dies. Like, Terran. I could see him dying. It maybe not this book, but the next book. I'm just saying, I could see that being the thing. Rebecca likes to kill people. She loves to kill them. And for no reason. <laughs> so I could see her doing that. Did I tell you or did I tell you? Brennan is alive. Knew it. I'm so good at this. Okay. Um, I wonder if I can guess anything else. For sure, I think one of her dragons dies. We don't have very many pages left. Like, we're getting close to the end here. There's some weird things happening. Like, her dragon, Andara, all of a sudden being big now. I didn't see that. I don't, I don't know when that happened. Someone just said that and I was like, Okay, so I hope that's ex explained. Also, the battle scene, very confusing. I don't know what was, I don't know what was happening during what, I don't know what the, what the Ver Vernon look like. I know what the Wyverns look like, but I don't know what, the, what those Ver Vernon, the Ver, Varen, Vernon, but yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling Brennan her bro was still alive and I was right. So <gasps> that's it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. <laughs> it looks like there's still pages, right? Like you can't tell me that that doesn't look like there's still like a few pages left. That's hilarious. Here I am like, oh, yeah, he's still alive. I wonder what else is gonna happen. Nothing, nothing else is gonna happen, Rachel. Okay, so I need to, I need to think this through. I'll, I'll be back with a better camera. Okay. Okay. <laughs> We're back very quickly after that. <laughs> so I didn't know that the last thing that everyone was so shocked about was the fact that her brother was still alive, which like, yeah. I feel like that, you know, that makes sense. Also, definitely still think that one of those dragons is going to die. Rebecca, like I said, she likes to kill people. So I definitely think that that's going to happen. Anyways, let's do a quick on spoiler little review. The book surprised me. Now, <laughs> that's only because 
my expectations were a lot lower going into it. If I had gone into it the way everyone was talking about it, I would not have liked it as much. So really, I do think that that's the key. Think it's going to be a three star, maybe even a two star book and be surprised. I think overall it was good. It was a fun story. I will say the pacing was not my favorite. I do think there was a lot of stuff in there that wasn't exactly necessary. A lot of just extra fluff. It got very boring sometimes and kind of drag. I also think that um, some of the action scenes, I know that this is her first fantasy, so I'm being lenient as far as like my review on it. I know that that takes practice. I think she just needs to practice it more. To, so then she's not like describing every little thing that's happening and also that it's not so chaotic in the sense that like I don't even know what's going on. Not my favorite as far as like writing action scenes but I definitely think that that's an area that she can grow. I do like the relationship between Violet and Zayden. Very fun, very cute, uh, spicy, but still as far as like the characters and them being their own like separate entities, like all of them being themselves, like there was just some, some parts that were just a little bit, it felt like thrown in there and it was like weird. It was very disjointed. I was dealing with a lot more of that in the beginning of the book, probably like the first like 75% of it, but then the plot really took over and we started to like move forward with stuff. I do think that there's lots of potential that the next book will be better than this one just because we're not going to start off with needing to do a whole bunch of background stuff which I'll also say the background stuff very confusing usually I don't get confused by fantasy books but just the way in which she did it was very odd I know that she was trying to be very creative and so I commend the, sp the creative spirit there. It's just the execution wasn't necessarily my favorite and didn't really hit for me. I'm giving it a generous three and a half. And I'm doing a three and a half because I don't want people to go into this expecting like the greatest thing they've ever read because I'm concerned with all of the hype around it. I just, I want people to give this book the grace that I think it deserves and so if you go into it knowing that I think you'll give some of the weird awkward moments in it a bit more grace I will read the next one I am invested in the story and so I love that um, I love that I loved it more than I thought I was going to so that's great to see. That's my non-spoiler review. Let's get into the spoiler portion. So I, like I said, I enjoyed it more than I thought that I would. You saw all of my reactions along the way. You saw, especially at the very beginning, I was very iffy, Spe specifically the characters themselves. I think if she had included more, I think she tries to make stories that are more character driven. However, that is not where her strength lies. In my opinion, I don't think she writes very strong characters. Not in the sense that, like, she gives up, like, characteristics of the characters for the sake of the plot. It's no longer about the characters, it's more about the plot. I think plot is more where her strengths lie, and so I think if I were her, maybe I'd focus more on that. Also, strengthening the banter. Sometimes, like, characters would just information dump a little bit and like it would just be so awkward with how they were talking. I was confused a lot of the time with like some of the specific rankings, like the different sections within the quadrants. Like there were just a lot of different titles and names for things that were a little bit confusing. Like I'm confused about what the what the Vernon are. Do I think it lives up to the hype? No, I don't. However, I do think it's better than I thought it was going to be. Those last, that last like 25% really loved that. It was very solid in the sense of like, it, it got me engaged. I was invested. Like I was starting to feel that excitement while reading it. Almost teared up when Liam died, which again, Rebecca loves to kill people. So, and I mean, 
that's commendable in a way. Like, she's not scared to go there. But also, don't just, I don't want her just to do it, just to do it either. Overall, I enjoyed it. I had a good time. <sighs> Okay, that is it. I'm glad that I read this book. I hope that this was fun. I hope that this isn't like too chaotic and too difficult to understand. With that, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will talk to you all again soon. Bye!